Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be considering simplification of sorts. This is a continuation of the series of problems we've been working on in sorts. To see the introductory video, kindly click on the link on the top right hand corner of your screen. Okay, so let's get right down to business. How do we simplify sorts? Now, first, before simplifying sorts, we are going to need to know what a perfect square is. There we have it. A perfect square is a number whose square root is an integer. And we know what integers are. Integers are positive or negative or numbers. Perfect squares are also called square numbers. So going by this definition, it's obvious that 1 is a perfect square because the square root of 1 is a plus or minus 1. Also, 4 is also a square number because the square root of 4 is going to give a positive or negative 2. Also, 100 is a squared number because the square root of 100, so I'm going to use arrows, the square root of 100 is a plus or minus 10. So these are a few examples of perfect squares. This knowledge is very important to simplify sorts. Let's take a few examples. So the square root of 18 is a sort. Now to do this, what we just have to do is, we are going to have to detach 18 into a product of two numbers. And one of the numbers has to be a perfect square. So first, we can just list out the product of two numbers that give 18. We've got 1 and 18, 2 and 9. So these are the numbers whose product give 18. Now, the first one. 1 and 18 is not going to work. Not because there is no perfect square here, but this is not going to change anything. Writing 18 as 1 times 18 is not going to enhance this simplification in any way. So we are not going to go with this. The second option is going to work perfectly because although 2 is not a perfect square, but 9 is. So what it means is that the square root of 18 can be written as the square root of 2 times 9. Good. So the next thing here is going to be to remember the rules of sorts that we considered in the previous video. So we are going to recall that the root of a product is equal to the product of the individual roots. So what this tells us is that the square root of 2 times 9 can be written as the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. Now root 2 is a radical. Radical is another word for sort. And we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So root 2 times 3 is 3 root 2. So this is the simplification of the square root of 18. Okay, let's simplify the next problem. So, as usual, we would obtain two numbers whose product is 48. So these are the pairs, 1 and 48. 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. So we're going to have to scrutinize this one to see which one fits into our categorization. Now, the first one is not going to work as usual because this is not going to advance our cause. Now, the second one. 2 is neither a perfect square nor 24. So 3 and 16, that should work because 16 is a perfect square. So this should work. 4 and 12 would work because 4 is a perfect square. But we are still going to have to break 12 down. So this is going to involve two steps. Also, 6 and 8, neither of these is a perfect square. So we found our pair of numbers, 3 and 16. So what we just have to do is 
writes roots 48 as the product of 3 and 16. I'm going to write 16 and 3. So going by this rule, the square root of AB equals the square root of A times the square root of B. I can separate this root sign. This is going to be root 16 times the square root of 3. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 3 is a third. So 4 times root 3 is 4, 3. Before closing this session, I want to say this. Why is 4 times root 3, 4 root 3? Why isn't it root 12? Now, if this confuses you, just assume that any radical is a letter. I'm sure you're familiar with how to work out a times 3. You know that a times 3 is 3a. Good. So just assume that root 2 times 3 also looks like a times 3. So that would always help you resolve the problem. Similarly, 4 times root 3, you can approach it as though it was 4 times a, which gives 4a. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, kindly like, subscribe, and share it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.